Morning everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I say welcome back because it's been a little while since I've been on here. We've had a fantastic summer here in the UK, it's been hot and I've been very busy with paintings for my galleries that I uh, supply year round. I've been catching up on a few commissions. I've also been playing a little bit of cricket and sometimes some things have to take a back seat. But this is just a really quick video to give you an update on a couple of things. There's no painting or sketching or drawing going on here, so please bear with me and I'll try and get through this as quickly as I can. Firstly, I've reorganised my websites. Those that are familiar with my work and content online will know that I have two websites, um, oliverpile.com and ourlandscape.co.uk, which is my blog site. It's a little bit cumbersome having two and what I've done with the help of my son Tom is to consolidate the two together and they will all operate from one domain, oliverpile.com. Everything's going to be in one site, so the gallery, the shop, the blog, it's all going to be sitting there on one site which will just make things easier for me certainly and hopefully a bit easier for you too. One of the reasons for reorganising the websites is so that it can contain a new feature that I'm going to launch next week. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while and I think now's a good time to do it. And that is to create a members only online forum where you, me, anyone else that wants to participate can discuss painting in watercolour and in particular painting the landscape. And the reason for creating the forum is to provide a space or a, a community, if you like, where we can talk about watercolour painting, landscape painting, outside of the main social media platforms. I'm not the only one that have noticed over the last few months that we're just becoming bombarded with commercial activity and advertising, and it kind of chokes out the fun of the creativity. So it'll be good to move away from that. I mentioned that it's members only, those that have subscribed to my blog already will just gain access to that. And this is the best bit. It's absolutely free. There's no subscriptions. There's no monthly cost for being part of the forum. I think we've all got enough subscribed content and money leaking out all over the place at the moment. So the last thing we need is more of that. Those that are new to the site and new to the forum will just simply be able to sign up on the subscription page uh, as usual. Now the forum has also come about through some discussions that I've had over a number of months really uh, with my friend Ido Hanamar. I'm sure that most of you know Ido and his wonderful paintings of the Netherlands and his excellent content on YouTube and other social media platforms. Now Ido and I share very very similar views on watercolour and landscape painting and between the two of us, we've probably got something in the neighbourhood of, I don't know, 65 years worth of collective experience. And we thought it would be a nice idea to be able to interact with our followers on the social media platforms in a different place together and to share our knowledge and try to help people progress with their skills and inspire people to go out and paint the landscape. So we will both be dropping content onto the forum, onto the discussion boards there. It's, it's really easy to use. When it goes live next week, you'll see what I mean. And of course, it's there for you to do that too. So if you want to share an experience or something that you've painted or some ideas that you have or things that you've come across that may be confusing you or don't make sense, put it up for discussion. We won't always comment on it, but we'll try to as much as we can. But your fellow forum members will also be able to contribute and hopefully help you out. Because more often than not, just discussing these things is quite useful. And, and eventually you find a way around them. One of the reasons behind it, and, and it's informed our decision to do this, is to try and bring a little bit of fun and relaxation back into painting watercolour or painting the landscape. Having looked through endless social media accounts and followed a number of artists and initiatives, it seems to me that watercolour has become very competitive. And I don't quite understand why that is. You know, we, we've got um, a lot of international 
conventions now where there's the promotion of elite painters and you can have selfies with them and you can pay to exhibit there and, and get certificates and I don't really recognise that world to be perfectly honest and I've heard from a lot of you who said it just all seems a little bit competitive and a little bit aggressive and you need to use these type of paints and you must use this sort of paper and you must paint this way and why are you painting that subject because you're never going to sell anything if you do that this is not what watercolor paintings about but that's not what we're going to do here there's no selfies there's no certificates there's no competitions it's just going to be fun it's going to be relaxing and i think that's what painting in watercolor should be we want you to find your own way of painting, your own way of expressing how you feel about your subject, about the landscape. So keep an eye out next week um, for notifications on social media that the forum has gone live. And if you're subscribed to the blog, you'll get an email and the information will be in there. I just want to finish up by saying, yes, there will be more tutorial content going up on YouTube. Just bear with me if it doesn't come out as quickly as you might expect. I am not a YouTuber in as much as it's not my primary source of income. My paintings are, my commissions are, and that's where I have to focus. But I've got some great things planned as autumn and winter kicks in, and I think you'll really like them. What I'm going to be doing with the tutorials predominantly is providing you with skills and techniques that you can take away and put in your toolkit to help you become better at painting the way that you want to paint. This is something that both Edo and I are very keen to promote. We want you, through your interaction, whether it's on the forum or our YouTube channels, wherever it is, is to be able to paint your way, not our way. There's not that much value in you being able to religiously follow my technique, my brush strokes, my interpretation of a scene, because you're not me. What you need is to have the foundational basics and some advanced techniques too that will allow you to say what you want to say about the landscape when you paint it. That is fundamentally important and it moves what we do outside of a right or a wrong way of doing things. So stay tuned for those. We'll be looking at skies, reflections, rocks, formats, compositions, all manner of different things. And then thrown into that, I'm hoping to do some location work as well, just to carry on what I was doing before I signed off for the summer. I will try to put most of those out as YouTube premieres because I've enjoyed the times that the videos have gone live and you've been there and we can chat as the video goes out for the first time. I think that's quite a lot of fun, so hopefully we can do a few more of those too. In the meantime, happy painting. I'll see you soon.